Hey guys, it's Valley Post here, and so uh, today I want to talk about um, my Grishko point shoes. Uh, I did do a couple videos with the Grishko, but I just want to talk about what I like about it and what I don't like about it. This does not necessarily go with everybody because everyone has different preferences for point shoes, so it's really not like something telling you whether it was good or not. Um, despite this video, you should still try it at your fitting if you feel like it'll fit your foot well or uh, anything like that, but uh, let's get started. So um, the Grishko point shoe is a little different from Block, from a couple things that I liked. Um, for example, on Block, I mentioned a lot of times I like the round, like the square tip, like the larger square twi twip, tip, but this one obviously does not have it like that, but I feel like this is helping my alignment better. Because I feel like on the other shoe, I was kind of going like this, maybe. I don't know, but this just makes me feel like I'm getting pushed back into place. So I feel like it's a good thing that the tip is like this for my foot. Um, I also like the fact that the nail was over here, because normally the nails are like back here or something like that. And then I have to pull them out because I want to uh, remove the shank as a break-in process. But um, since like that wasn't there, it was like a step taken away from the break-in process. Now, uh, this was fitted to my foot, so I feel like it's a good fit, but some parts that bothered me were the back here and the sides a lot more. Like, the sides of every point shoe, when you get them, they're obviously not going to be extremely comfortable, but these ones were a little absurd. Like, it was kind of, like, insane how, like, how much I had to do break-ins for this. Like, I had to do releve exercises and demi-point things while having, like, water all around the shoe over here so that it would uh, break in a little bit. It did help, definitely, but now it has, like, this damage on it. But it's okay. Uh, it's going to happen one time or whatever. Back here, uh, my shoe was not tight on me, but it this part over here dug into, like, the back of my um foot for some reason. I did uh, open up the uh, knot that I put on these, and uh, I know, like, people don't do this, but I did not knot them again. I let them be free so that uh, as much as I pulled it, the ribbons would go in as much as needed. I did cut them, though, but uh, that was also a little bit weird how it was uh, stuck in so much. I I really don't know uh, how that was, like, such a big issue, but it was hurting a lot. So I basically wet my whole shoe, just, you know, kind of, like... I went on the sides, not touching the box. Again, I'm going to repeat this because someone's definitely going to comment and be like, you can't put your shoe in water. Like, I'm not the box, okay? Down here, on the wings, back here, wherever it was tight. Then I wore them and went on demi point all around the house. Uh, I did exercises and breaking things while the tight places were uh, wet. I just dabbed some water on them, and now they're like, uh, you know, like this, like, kind of crusty like <laughs> I don't know how to explain it it's like um like kind of you know obviously because of the water it got like this like weirdly um feeling but that's better than having a tight and uncomfortable shoe just saying I know they don't look the best anymore they still look perfectly fine but after a class they're probably not gonna be so uh you know but there's some water damage and the tip is a bit dirty uh that is, I, I still haven't had my first class with the new shoes at home. I'm just kind of going around on them, and they're extremely hard to break in because I got a harder shank. So it's really hard for me to break it in. The back is fairly easy to break in um, over here. It just broke so easily. Um, I put them on the once, and then I broke them in, and it just bent like this, like extremely fast. That was a little bit weird because my last shoe did not break in that easily in the back region. Like, it took a long time to get the shape of my foot. So that, praise the Lord for that. Now, I like the sole because the sole has these like kind of like checkeredy, diamondy lines on it. Like, so um, on the places where there's a necessary to have it so that I won't slip around in class, I will still use like the rosin powder on the top and a little on the bottom too. But this definitely helps uh, for traction, so I don't have to do it myself. This looks a lot more organized than when I do it. When I do it, I just scratch it. It looks really bad. 
and it kind of like after a while it gets rubbed off so you gotta keep doing it again and it kind of breaks away the um sole but uh up here i feel like it's um uh, sorry i feel like it's a lot better that it's like this so it looks organized and it's not wearing away that fast and it looks great um let's see another thing that i kind of uh, is that the shoe is really loud when you knock it on somewhere i know because it's a new shoe but even my last one wasn't this bad like it would like when you hit it somewhere gently it would go bang like it was it's extremely loud shoe um some shoes are just not as loud because they i guess layer different materials or something like that but this one's extremely loud so you have to knock it out a bit to make it a little less uh clanky kind of thing but that other than that it's a really good shoe um, I feel like it's a lot better than my last shoe. I feel like I'm closer to finding my perfect shoe because of this. Because my first shoe was awful. Then uh, the other shoes were okay. And then the block was really good. I thought that was my shoe. And then this one is amazing. So I really feel like I'm closer to finding my perfect shoe. If you know what I mean, something that I'll stick with. Because I am just trying a bunch of different brands. Seeing if I like them. But uh, it's it's okay so far. But this these ones are definitely a step closer. I like how the shape is because my block point shoes were obviously because here was wider it was like straight down kind of thing so it wasn't that like elegant looking but this one it has such an elegant like curve to it so I like the way it looks definitely like in class it looks nice and such and stuff like that um let's see what else I like about these they're basically a really good shoe I really like it and uh, also, let's, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, in the inside of the shoe, let's see if you can see that. You cannot see that. Well, at the tip, normally, a shoe, other, my other shoes had, uh, like, a lot more, like, uneven layers in the inside of the tip. So, uh, I could feel it through my toe pad, a little bit of a different, like, levels. So that was really weird. I really didn't like that very much, but this one has a really smooth platform in, in the inside. So if you're a person to dance without toe pads or with toe pads, you will not feel like the, the little weird roughness. Um, the tip is also lasting a long time as well. My block, uh, the block tips came off after I wore them like two times. Like it got like ruffled over here. All of it got ripped off and I had to cut around. But this one only has like a little tiny damage right here. But other than that, it's not something big that I'll have to uh, cut it off because it won't let me dance. So that's definitely a plus for me. But I probably will be end like be ending up like cutting off like the little tip when all of it gets like uh, scratched off. So it's like a big lump under your shoe, a lump of like cloth. It's a little uh, not comfortable, as you can see. But um, other than that, it's a great shoe, and I will attach a video right now of me on the in the shoes just doing some simple things so you can see the shape of the shoe and see how it looks on my feet. Uh, I really do think it's nice, though. But um, all right, guys. Thanks. Enjoy.
And before someone points this out, I already know that the right foot, um, the left foot to you, um, is not going over the box all the, the whole time. And that's because I'm having trouble breaking in that shoe. So my shoe is a lot more straight than the other one. So it's a little bit hard for me to like get on the box all the way. It does look a little bit silly. Um, I'm sorry for the poor technique. Um, I'm sick and I'm not feeling well today, but I decided to make a video anyway. So um, I would appreciate only helpful comments. I really don't want any kind of hate, but thank you so much for watching the video.